the grandmother of Benny Hargrove, is ecstatic because she's been waiting on something to make sure that children are safe and that her, her grandson's life had great meaning. Nearly two years after the death of a Washington middle school teenager, a bill in his honor is now law. Today, the governor is signing the Benny Hargrove bill to help reduce gun violence. Faith Ibuanu joins us live from the Roundhouse. And Faith, lawmakers say this bill is long overdue. Yes, yeah, right. It was a day of gratitude as family members, state and city leaders gathered in solidarity in honor of Benny Hargrove. Governor Michelle Lujan Grisham signing the Benny Hargrove Safe Storage Act into law Tuesday, following the death of 13 year old Benny Hargrove at Washington Middle School in 2021. So I put March right here. See how I'm finishing? The governor vowing to push for gun safety within our schools. I can't imagine what it's like to drop a child off at school and not be able to pick them up because there's been this kind of a horrific tragedy that's unfolding. This is a state that will do everything in its power to curb and eliminate gun violence. Hargrove's grandmother, Vanessa Sawyer, tearfully expressing her gratitude. And this is a wonderful step to help solve, solve some of these problems. Um, it's not going to do the whole job, but it's a start. Families, children will Safe. Benny's bill was one of many gun control measures introduced at this year's legislative session, now holding an adult responsible for a minor's negligent access to a gun. How does a 13 year old get a gun? And it was just astounding to me that we did not have a gun safety law in the state of New Mexico. With just four days left of the 60 day session, the governor is watching two more bills that may reach her desk. Uh, the Senate, it looks to me, is about to send me uh, our straw purchase bill uh, upstairs. And uh, I feel really good about that. Thank you very much. And our uh, 14 day registration period is uh, on the floor uh, in the House. And uh, I expect that it gets heard. And coming up at six, we'll have a breakdown of those gun control bills and how the state plans to move forward with four days left of the session. Reporting live in Santa Fe, Faithy Buanu, KYT Action 7 News.